Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Global Hemp Group's channel. Now, last video, we dove into Kurt's background. We talked about how he got involved with the space, but this week, we want to dive deeper into the company. So first off, Kurt, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I hope you are, too. I, I sure am. So let's get into it then. So Global Hemp Group is involved in hemp cultivation, research and development, but can you start off by just explaining to people what that is? Just like they've never watched any videos on the channel. They've never been to the website. Sure. Well, historically, we've been a grower of, of hemp in Oregon for cannabinoid extraction. It was a singular focus that really wasn't our passion. Uh, we've always envisioned that the industrial aspects of hemp is by far the largest segment of the market and, and where it's going to go ultimately. And that's why we've um, expanded our operations and uh, begin looking at Colorado. And we partnered up with a group that we tried to um, become partners with about five years ago and employ exactly that, the industrial aspects of hemp in what we call our hemp agro-industrial zone, which is really just a, uh, a collaboration uh, under one umbrella to produce hemp-based products for uh, use in our various projects or for sale widely um, across the United States or the world for that matter. Okay. Can we dive into what some of those projects are? Just give some examples people might be able to latch onto. Sure. Well, um, as we recently announced, the Colorado hemp agro-industrial zone is something that we've wanted to do for an extended period of time. It allows us to enter a market that has had huge pent-up demand, which is the affordable housing in this particular area in Northwest Colorado, that will be successful on its own on the real estate side. But if you add hemp-based building materials into the equation, um, it adds tremendous number of revenue streams. It also gives us an opportunity to increase the real estate assets. And the important part is the water infrastructure and the water rights assets. And we can accumulate uh, a large amount of, of those as part of the project as it develops out. So we were talking off camera a little bit, and you talked about some of the major struggles in the hemp industry, where it's not so much cultivating that's the issue, but finding an application and a buyer for it. Can you dive into that a little bit? Certainly. That's always where the struggle has been. It's easy enough to grow the hemp. Well, it's, it, is, it has its challenges in itself, but certainly you can grow the hemp, you can identify the market. But at the end of the day, if you don't have a buyer for your product, that's where a lot of the hemp uh, companies have struggled. The beauty of the Colorado project is that there's this huge pent up demand for uh, affordable housing in this area. And so we know that the real estate side of this project will be, it'll be successful all by itself. It, it has the opportunity to continue to expand. Our partner actually built uh, close to 100 houses in the existing subdivision, and we're uh, planning to expand out from there. This project has a long-term vision. As a matter of fact, the time horizon can be up to about 25 years in terms of the development of the housing in this particular region. And so that's what's going to make this project successful. Once you add the hemp building materials and other uh, hemp-based products into the equation, that just adds huge multiple revenue streams that will um, create tremendous shareholder value over time. Awesome, Kurt. Well, thanks for shining some light on the company. Um, is there anything else you want to mention? Thanks for asking. Since we last spoke, actually, we joined the uh, U.S. Hemp Building uh, Association. That's going to give us tremendous input in terms of uh, professionals in the hemp building industry throughout the United States that uh, we can consult with. And we're actually very happy to be a part of helping expand the base of the association to make hemp construction and hempcrete building much more recognized throughout the United States. Wonderful. All right. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't be afraid to like, subscribe, join the conversation, leave us some questions. We'll answer all your questions for you. All right, Kurt, have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.